Hey guys, so I decided to go for the more of a like uh, anti Valentine's Day look. I'm gonna be alone for Valentine's Day this year, and actually I was alone last year too. But anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I went for more of a, you know, non traditional colors, I guess. Um, if you're interested in this look, please keep watching. Right, bye guys. So I went ahead and primed my eyelid with the Jordana um, eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going in with um, NYX eyeshadow in egg white and it's just like a creamy, pearly kind of color, like a cream-ish. Taking a Medusa's makeup shadow brush and putting this in the highlight and I'm kind of bringing it down as well like about halfway and that's good now I'm going to take um, Elf's eyeshadow transformer and I'm going into the um, sorry the purple one the same brush and I'm going to put this like in the inner corner bringing it in some up and also down and I'm going to go into the yellow one a little bit as well and kind of put it over in the transition area kind of right here so that's good all right so now I'm going to take um, just a flat shader, shader brush this is the elf the one from the dollar line I think. and I'm going into um, sugar pills after party the blue one and I'm going to pack this um, all over the lid. I'm not going in all the way. I'm leaving like a tiny little dot in the very inner corner. But I am taking it up into the crease. And as a guideline as how f high up I go, I'm going to just look and, um, like when I, um, how do I describe this? I don't want to go up any farther from when I'm looking in the mirror I don't want it like up here, so just into the crease. Make sure the color is packed on nicely onto the lid. So like that. And now I'm going to take um like a domed fluffy brush. This is the e.l.f. one, the blending eye brush, and I'm going into this pink right here that's called Dolly Pop. And I'm going to put it in the crease over the blue. And just blend it into the blue all the way in. And it's going to make this really gorgeous purple. So I'm just going to be blending that into, but I don't want to go any higher. It's going to like barely show up when I have my eyes open. I don't know if you can tell on this side, like it's barely showing. So I'm just going into circular motions until I get it blended. And because we put that other shadow back here, it's going to help it blend a lot easier. Okay, so that's about right. I'm not too worried about the shape because I'm going to go back and clean it up later. So that now I'm going to take um, with the same brush. I'm going into like a burgundy color and this is from the sleek um, sunset palette and it's this shade right here that I'm going into just to add a little bit more something I mean you could leave it these two colors it looks nice but I'm just gonna put it in the crease the outer V area blend it up slightly um, if you feel like 
you know, you need to go into the pink or the blue again. Just do it. So I think that's about it. I'm kind of like bringing it in at the very corner right here. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the lid color and make sure it's none of the other colors got into the blue. And I'm going to take now a um, an angled brush, this is the Medusa's Makeup Angled Brush, and I'm going to go into that um, <laughs> the blue or purple, whatever color it is, the elf eyeshadow transformer and I'm gonna like put it in the inner corner right here and kind of blend these a little bit better and then I'm bringing it down as well and then at the outer bottom lash line I'm kind of I'm not picking up any color but I'm getting some of that purple and kind of like dragging it underneath and now I'm just gonna go around the edge to kind of just use the the tip of the brush to kind of soften it just lightly like this and it helps it blend a little bit better all right so I don't know why I said so like that okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, my eyeliner and um, my mascara and for eyeliner I am using the Milani liquify in black and I'm going to put that in the um, on the water lines and for the top I am going to use this um, wet and wild pen liquid liner type of thing and I'm not sure how I feel about this but um anyways so I'm just going to go ahead and do that but first I'm just going to take a q-tip I'm going to show you all and I'm going to just kind of like clean up the edge And what I'm kind of doing is, um, as I drag it across, I twirl it. Oh, I got fallout right there. I'll just clean that. And I'm kind of just using the bottom lash line as a guideline. And it just depends on what shape you kind of want to go for. I kind of just want to, like, you know, it's not too revealing when your eyes are open, but then you close them and, you know, you get that color. So I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeliner and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here's the finished um, eyes. For mascara, I used the NYX Doll Eye Mascara, the volume one. Um, this is kind of like a thicker formula, so I put this on first. And then I used the um, Wet n Wild Mega Plump one. And since the wand on this one is kind of um, stiffer, I go through after. And then it's really good for the bottom lashes as well. So I like these two together a lot. Um, for my lips, I actually used Where Did It Go? Um, seriously, I lost it. I used the NYX Girls Gloss in Wit. Um, it's a, just like a light, kind of like a soft baby pink color. Um, and for my eyebrows, I always use the Milani um, Eyebrow Clip Kit. For blondes, this middle color is really good. So, anyways. Alright, you guys. I hope that um, you enjoyed this look. And happy Valentine's Day. Alright, bye guys.